Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 112 of Let's FIFA 13. And we'll start this episode off by going into the quarterfinals. But one thing I really want to do in this episode is to talk a little bit more, a little bit more about yesterday's subject because I got some really good comments, and especially one that stood out, and I believe it got over 100 thumbs up, so it really well displayed what you guys were thinking. So. Basically, uh, what it said was the, um, that the series was li like you like the series, but overall it could get a little bit boring, and I can understand that because the past two months it's kind of been the same thing. Like I've tried to get entertaining gameplay, of course, but it's only been gameplay, and I'd like to implement other stuff on the channel as well. So uh, in the comment, there was a lot of suggestions for things I could implement, like uh, budget, skill, squad builders. There was uh, formation and player reviews, situation-based skill move guides, and all that kind of stuff. So it's really nice to see like comments about what you guys also would like to see. So. My plan is basically that I want to um, finish off the first season as I mentioned uh, on yesterday's episode and the way I think it will um, turn out is basically I'll move, I'll, I'll upload an episode uh, tomorrow and Friday and then I'll try and have three uploads up Saturday and Sunday to end it off so we end off at episode 120. Then I'll probably take... Um, two weeks off, maybe three, I don't know, just working on the gold compilation. I might have um, a few vi videos out a week with uh, something else than uh, the ultimate team. But yeah, that is kind of how I want it uh, to work out. And once the gold compilation is done, I'll try and like split the week up. So maybe there's three or four days where I have a Let's FIFA 13 episode out. Then there might be a specific day I like do some sort of trading tips, that kind of stuff. Then maybe a day for skill guide tutorial, stuff like that. And finally, that could be a day where I do like squ squad builders, um, formation reviews, player reviews, that kind of stuff. So kind of get everyone's interest um try to cover all of that and keep it interesting and that way I don't think it'll get way too repetitive so that is my thought for the future it's not sure it will work out exactly because it is very difficult at least for me to like see into the future and how things will plan out but that is what I will try and do my best to to accomplish so yeah um, that is my thought and um, that is pretty much what I wanted to talk about so let's get back into the gameplay I believe this is the semi-final of the Chinese New Year Cup and I will get a goal here in the 111th minute but it was off sight so I move on and then 118th minute I'll get the goal with David Silva in a pretty tough game it took a while before I got the goal despite I felt I dominated the shots and possession so I win the game at 2-1 and I'm through to the final of the cup and uh, I will keep going with the 4-2-3-1 side but there's one thing I have to say is that um, like the front four of the squad it's it's not very fast it like Slatan, David Silva, Terrapt and Torres like they got in uh, the high 70s and the low 80s in pace so if you are up against your typical um center backs and uh, fast center defensive mids you'll usually get caught up when you try and go on a counter attack but still I will get up 1-0 in this game but uh, basically it's kind of difficult for me to the usually counter attacks that go on where I have the pacey wingers and that is what I really like because then you get into the situations where people start to panic a little bit but yeah we get up at 2-0 as well after a really nice through ball to, from David Silva to find Terrapt and I picked up a penalty he will get back though there with Eto who was substituted on to make it 2-1 but then in the end of the game we make it a 3-1 and we'll get another chance with Terrapt here flicks it up over at flick past the defender and a scoop turn to get into the box takes the shot it goes out for a corner and straight from that we'll head it in with Thiago Silva to make it 4-1 and that is how the final one win and a final will end and I will pick up the trophy of the Chinese New Year Cup and move on to the Gold Cup and go with the other 4-2-3-1 side I got with Ronaldinho and Fed Facetis and I come up against a very strong 3-5-2 squad there and it was a really tough game because he, he rushed forward and I never had any space to do anything because his uh, center defensive mids were very close to his center backs but I will create a few chances but really not that many and it's not before the 19th minute that I get a proper third a chance here with Ronaldinho cutting in behind the defender and I thought that one would have went in there but it goes wide so the game ends at 1-0 and I'm through to the final which will be the last game 
of this episode. And we go with the African group winner squad, which I played with a lot in the past week. It's, at the moment, it's my favorite squad. It's playing really, really well. And I come up against a pretty awesome Premier League squad there with Inform Casola and Podolski. But yet it's me getting the game started there. And I had a lot of chances in the first half. Here's Neymar on the ball. Nice stuff. Carling in behind the defender. Takes the shot. But it is saved by the keeper. And we continue just two minutes later. Yaya Toure on the ball. Passes it to Jackson. A little dummy to get past Fellaini. And we take the shot. But once again it goes wide. And we'll get another chance here with Jackson. Take the shot. And the keeper saves it. Like I know the shots wasn't the best. But still I, I felt I could have gotten a goal on one of them. But in the end it is him hitting me on a counter attack there. To make it 1-1. But I wasn't really too worried. As you can see here at half time. I pretty much dominated the game. And I felt I could get a goal in the second half. And I will get it here in the 86 minute we'll let past the keeper to make it 2-1 and we'll get another chance here with Carlos Eduardo he goes past the defender here with a scoop turn and a stop and turn skill move and then takes out the keeper and that is a free one and that's exactly how the game pretty much is going to end I get one final chance loses the ball goes with a slight tackle and I will get a Jetson sent off and that is the final highlight and how the game will end. So yeah, I win another trophy and then after that I decided to go out and send the players in the 4-2-3-1 squads to the trade pile. I kept Slatan, Ronaldinho and Inform throughout but apart from that I sent them all to the trade pile. So now um, for tomorrow and Friday's episode what I want to do is basically I'll build a, a temporary squad to go with and then what I want you guys to do is now comment down below which uh, bronze squad I should build, silver squad and gold squad I should build. So I'll basically have three squads and during the, well at least try to have two um both Saturday and Sunday have triple uploads and then there I'll try and play the three uh, tournaments the gold silver and gold tournament and see how many times I actually can win it and that is my initial thought so leave some comments down below for bronze silver and gold teams and of course with the five star skillers in and that's all for this episode guys I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you later